Hello, freaks and friends, and welcome to a new soapbox. I'm Fat Mike. When I first heard about this uh, article, I didn't believe that it was true. So let's get started and we'll talk about it. Here we go. A Florida man was actually arrested for not returning his VHS copy of Freddy Got Fingered back in 2002. I'm sorry for laughing at this. I really thought that this was a hoax. I really didn't think this was a real thing that happened. That's why it's taken me this long to actually make this video. Um, it's ridiculous. The man was driving his daughter to school and he was pulled over by a cop that said he either had a burnt out or a broken tail light. When they ran his name, the man had a warrant for, well, obviously an arrest. So when he asked what for, the cop said for not returning the movie, and he laughed because it's friggin' ridiculous. So I listened to a couple other YouTubers talk about this, and I read some articles, and apparently in America anyways, I'm Canadian, just putting it out there, they have this video chain or had a video chain called Hollywood Video and they would actually put out stupid shit like this that if you didn't release movies. And I found out that back in the day with VHS movies, for let's say we went to Walmart to buy a movie, it would be about $30. VHSs were expensive back in the day, well some Blu-rays are nowadays. And for people to buy movies for their rental store, they would charge them about 60 to $70, maybe even more. Because the way they looked at it is, if I rent that movie out for $10 a night, seven times, I'll be making the money back from that movie, and then if I rent it out anymore, I would be making a profit. So they would overcharge people. So in retrospect, you can kind of see what that means. In the other hand, the way I look at it is, it's a goddamn VHS. Anybody around my age probably doesn't own a VCR. Now I have one, it's in my attic. I keep it just in case I find out of print VHSs that didn't ever get ported over to DVD or Blu-ray now, or digital, but everything's online. You can stream everything, but I keep it. I'm a bit of a hoarder, what can I say? So that's why I have one. But the really cool thing that comes out of this ridiculous story is that Tom Green himself actually said that he would actually defend this man and give him $200 for his bail. Um, I think that's really cool of Tom Green. Either way, tell me your opinions in the comments below. How crazy do you think this is? Do cops have better things to do with their time than arrest people over um, non-returned movies and video games. I guess this could have went either way if you think about it. This is just outrageously ridiculous. Overpaid babysitters. Some of those cops are, man. I'm saying it. Um, tell me in the comments below your opinions. I also want to know from my audience, and if you just clicked on my video to see what the hell this was about, tell me in the comments, what movie would you be mostly embarrassed if this happened to you? If the cop was like, well, there's a warrant for your arrest for not returning Twilight. Tell me in the comments, what would yours be? I'm going to go with Twilight. Either way, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If not, and you don't like my ugly mug on your screen, give it a thumbs down. <laughs> you don't have to like everything you see on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Check out the Facebook page. And until next time, stay crazy, my friends. Thanks for watching.